Okay guys, welcome to another one. So today we're going to be uh, learning how to make um, a clothes layer for the body shape that you have or if you use mine. Anyway, you have the physics over here. If you don't have any physics, you we're going to need one physics for this tutorial. So make sure you have this file. You can download it right here. I will put in the description after the link. Okay. So what we have here is the body shape that we did on the other tutorial. And as you can see, it's exactly the same thing. I haven't changed anything. Everything is the same as I left on the other video. So what to make about a layer? What what, what we need to start is by just again just uh, Alt Q to isolate our selection. In this case, we have selection. In this case, uh, uh, we didn't name any specific convention. We have female naked top, but you can actually call it a body shape. So this is our body shape. Now we don't want to change anything in the body shape. We want the body shape to be exactly the same. So what we're going to do is right click on it and we want to clone this again as a copy. And in a name we can call it mini dress layer 01. In this case we're going to do but just so you get used to name convections. If you had more than one layer, this is easy to find them. Now we have our mini dress layer 01. So now we're going to isolate again, only now this time the mini dress layer. And we're going to remove the physic and then wrap. So now let's have a here some kind of project overview <laughs> thingy. Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press M and I'm going to grab one of the default materials and I'm going to apply it right there. So I don't see the templates on my mesh. So what I mean by project overview is we're going to actually see and talk a little bit uh, what is a layer and how we want the layer to work out and why are we copying the body shape to make a layer. I think this is pretty obvious, of course. We're copying because this has the shape of the body that we, we are working on. And we're going to actually put on top of this, in this case on top of the body shape, we're going to put our layer. So what we're going to do, for example, in this layer, we're going to cut the leg around over here. We're going to delete everything that goes down here. And we're going to have this shape, everything. We're going to have the neck, we're going to leave the arms, we're going to need everything else. But remember, I, I can probably do one of two more layers different after this tutorial. But for now, just remember that if, if you, if I don't release the tutorials and you want to actually do a different type of layer, remember you can uh, delete all the geometry you want. But remember, it's always nice if you follow the seams when removing. For example, you know, I know if I remember there's a seam of the arm around here so it's good if you remove the arm around the seam so it doesn't destroy too much the UAV mapping so we don't have too much trouble after the same goes for the neck if you don't want the neck just make sure you delete the entire neck at it's around over here if you don't want to have the neck or the arms remember to remove from the seams what I mean by seams I'm gonna show you right now over here that you get out of this drawing mode what I mean by seams is for example imagine if you want to make layer and you want to delete the neck and the arms itself you can just come over here for example on the unwrap of your map select element I'm going to select faces for example and I select my whole arm over here as you can see over here let me just get on perspective because we are on to graphic view I press P to go on perspective just so you know what I did there and um, as you can see over here this is actually the seam of the arm itself this is a seam, this green line over here, it's called seams, is basically what this seam does in an unwrap. It basically cuts the mesh in the two, and in this case for a 2D um, texture, as you can see here, it cuts around here as well, and, and it kind of unfolded, you know, opens it. But we don't need to know for now. I will talk literally about the unwrap in a few seconds, a few minutes after we finish modeling. Here, this is a seam, so when you want to delete something, of course, if you want to have a little bit of the arm in, or, uh, or if you want to make a sleeve kind of layer, of course you're going to have, but remember, if you want to make something simple and no glitches, no gaps, no nothing, always, you know, go on unwrap, select in, in, in the um, edit mode, select elements and select the entire arm, then you can just simply apply a poly on top of this and press faces, and there you have it. And then you just press delete 
and there you go. You just delete the arm with the seam so it doesn't actually destroy any kind of uh, unwrapping we have on our other uh, wrapping that in this case will be the body itself. So I just show you this so you can know what I mean is to understand the concept behind deleting something from the seam always is a nice thing so it gives you less work of course and you can have pretty good results with the um, unwrap around everything the same goes for the necklace the neck actually <laughs> I would say necklace because this is area so there we go just something I wanted to point over here so I'm j we're not gonna do anything of this we're just gonna delete now all of this so now we're just gonna go in in poly mode over here and we're gonna select all these faces around here and we're gonna delete them so now we're gonna select this little bit I'm just kind of going with a reference image around over here like I'm using actually this reference line uh, over here is kind of you know where was the last the the old seam line actually to be like this kind of short tight effect seam and we just delete around over here and just press delete and there you have it have something like this for now just make something like this now as you can see here it's not very straight but you don't need to worry about that we can actually just fix that in the, in, the f in a few seconds so now when we're making our mini dress we actually want to have this front area connected and when a measure is looking at this what is what is idea how can I connect this of course the first thought that comes to our mind is the easy way the easy way is connect those vertex right over there it's actually pretty easy and we don't even need there's something you need to understand as well we don't even need to change then wrap it all because we're not adding any geometry to the shape itself if we don't add geometry if we don't extrude any face if we don't do anything besides deleting and targeting welding that I'm gonna show you or welding vertex together you won't have too much trouble after in the unwrap which is very important you understand this when you're making a layer if you add geometry you will have to make your custom map it's more trouble it gives more hard work I will show you how to make your custom custom uh, and wraps as well but for this tutorial I'm not gonna use the custom meta because I'm not gonna add any geometry you need to understand this we're not gonna add any geometry we're actually removing geometry and connecting the geometry we have on the mesh itself so I'm gonna show you what I mean what I was saying is for example now I know I want to delete so when I look at this when I make it my mini dresses normally I delete around over here I delete everything that is comes around here, like this line over here is what I use by reference. So I remove everything that comes here. There you go. There you have it. And keep selecting. I'm using Alt Middle Mouse button if you don't know. W, it's, uh, I think I never showed, but if you don't know, W is for the move tool, E for mad word rotate, and R for the zoom and Q from question to the select object because I, I'm using you know shortcuts and you might not know what, what key so just remember if you don't know what key or what tool I'm using just keep looking over here, right over here normally I will try to go there with my mouse but you know sometimes I get in the workflow and I stop using the short and I start using the shortcuts because you know it's the workflow so I'm just gonna keep doing this kind of selection Remember, you don't have to make everything exactly as I do, as long as you have the idea of it. Oh, this is careful, make sure you're not selecting. So, y for this kind of uh, detail, I recommend turning on the um, ignore back facing on. So, we don't actually select what we don't want to select. There you go, we in fact to keep selecting over here. Over here as well. Here. And probably this one as well I think this one as well yep this looks good to me now here this is a trick to make you know like right now it looks like pants right so if we delete these faces around here it's gonna make like this kind of 
skin tight dress. This is a selection I normally do for my mini dresses, depending on how much mesh I have, obviously, but this probably will work and fine with uh, any kind of shape, as long as, you know, do the selection, something like this. And now, after we have this select selected, we're going to press delete. There you have it. Now we start having the shape over here. So now we're going to go in vertex mode, and we're going to actually use the targeting well option we're gonna just click and drag click and then click and then right click to get out of target well if you right click you get out of target well this is very important and then you can actually go in this case I'm gonna use W but I'm using the select and move tool W and I put something around here just so you see the idea of what we're doing over here so you go back target well and click 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 all those vertex around over till over here now in this area it's different I'm gonna show you the trick to make th at least the trick I use to make that area so now we're gonna just gonna go make sure you are out of target well by right clicking the mouse now we select those vertex over here and you know make them kind of kind of a straight line you don't need to be perfect just you know the shape there you go kind of this shape over here. Now remember this is looking looking nasty but just for example pull them a little bit over here. So we start looking at those gaps over there. And now how do we fix this area because we have vertex that are not going to connect around here. So actually here we can actually add some segments by selecting this V and those four guys we can actually use this option right over here and we press the setting option and we connect them, it's called the connect <coughs> sorry sorry. Uh, if you watch all my other videos um, you already know what connect does and as the name says it connects those segments and we get an extra vertex around here we can actually raise the segments, imagine if your shape has more detail than this one and you have two segments over here so you're gonna need two segments over here and that goes on and on for how many segments your mesh has there in my case I only have one there what I mean by one is I mean one it's like one from this line over here this line because I know this one will connect in this one so I need to have a geometry here a vertex in this case so to connect this one and this one will be fine because it's already connected it's just the edge of it and the same we're gonna do for this one so we press OK and now we select this segments on this side as well and we connect and there you go make sure you have the pitch and slide zero zero in this case so it gets centered and OK so we go back to vertex mode we go target weld and we just click and click Oh, sorry, I right click there, click, click, and then click, and click. And there we have it. Our shape is already getting started to look like a mini dress. So now we can just <laughs> grab the vertex, or even the segments itself, so it's more kind of easy for us, around here. And we just can drag a little bit around here. Y you can play now tweaking this as your own wish. I'm not gonna put too much detail around this, but you have the idea. There you go. Uh, let's make something like a mini dress. He has this, so he doesn't go too much inside. You pull it out. If this vertex is now, we just fix it around here. Those vertex as well. We can just, you know, tweak this. Don't be scared of changing them because we can fix them in the unwrap after if it's glitching right now we're getting here to the tricky part just you know do something like this I'm not gonna put too much love into this I'm just showing you because I already did so many mini dresses that I actually don't need to make anymore uh, so now select all the vertex and press weld Nothing, as you can see, nothing changed. But just to make s our work safe, in case some of them didn't actually weld and just you know like snapped on top of each other. 
all right now we have this shape so now here we want to be careful in this area so we don't glitch or destroy too much so we want to actually start by targeting welding again the same mode same process with ignore back facing on and vertex click 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 oh. and make sure you always have connecting this the, the right vertex you know it's kind of you know like knowing which vertex is going to connect because we know those ones are pretty straight over there now when we get to this part just fix a little bit so we have an idea how things are going it's always important to think a little bit when you're targeting welding or even removing the faces so you know that things will fix perf will fit nicely as you can see here we have uh, like this diamond shape and we actually want this one to be with this one this one to be with this one see the cut that I did on this mesh was actually pretty good and this mesh is so symmetrically fine and it's not so complex that I can actually just keep straight in connecting them so I'm just you know this part to be more safe I'm just gonna on the X remember on the X side I'm just gonna pull a little bit this faces around here as you can see here this part we, we want to be careful and we want to actually do this type of slowly connecting them like this so we don't actually get lost because some vertex can go inside a mesh and we could give you more trouble so just on this area just do it slowly so we have this kind of you know thing going on here because this remember we're playing with as you can see over here there's like a very inside shape right there so we have to be careful with those things so now Target well and target well again and again. Now before we go, just let's fix a little bit this is so we have an look how it's we're already locking our mini dress. There. It's looking pretty good. And as you can see here we have like this kind of hole so just you can remember you can play with the vertex so just you know drag a little bit outside on the eye there you go no tweak a little bit again I'm not gonna give too much love to my mesh over here just showing you the technique I use now here as you can see we have a very inside one so be careful in when fixing this one so let's target weld them oh sorry I got off <laughs> for this boat a bit and you know just put it right over here there we have this area you just be slowly and fix one by one so you don't get lost and lose geometry in the way so just target weld again right click to get out and kind of make a straight line over here I if you already haven't noticed so the seam can actually travel no, fine. On the UV mapping, this is, uh, it, well, what you're doing here is always thinking about the unwrapping, how to make it easy for us. See it's a little bit too much inside. Just drag it a little bit. Well, a little bit. Oh, this, there we go. So now target weld, and we're actually going to now a little bit more fast, and we're going to actually weld everything in here like this and the final step will be this one over here there we have it now remember to fix this to make this kind of straight line going up don't need, to be, uh, don't need to be a perfect straight line remember just as long as this is a kind of a straight line it should be fine there you go and just fixing a little bit over here and let's see what we have here now um, yeah, it's looking pretty good for me. Okay, we have some cards over here, but it's looking alright for me, I think. I think it will be really easy to unwrap this. Remember, you can actually do tweaking until you're happy. I'm happy with this result. It looks pretty good for me. As you can see, we simply, by using vertex mode and target welding, this tool over here, by clicking and dragging, 
point, in this case vertex, there was in the same areas, and what I mean by same areas is the same direction, as you can see the geometry it's symmetrical, symmetrical. If the geometry is the same as this side, you know, if it's a copy of each side, this technique works fine. But if the if you have for example in here, you have more vertex in this area than you have more vertex in their area or more segments, this technique will not work fine or at least you will have to work a little bit harder on the unwrap after. This technique works fine because it's just a smooth, more than enough for M view to be honest. You don't need any more smooth than this in uh, any mesh on MView to be honest. And works perfectly that this technique. So now that we have our geometry done, we're going to do what we did before, that step that I select everything. In this case, I want to make sure I have ignore back facing off and select all those faces and we want to pay attention and weld. See, nothing changed, which means we did a perfect job. We didn't miss anything. There we have it. Our mini dress layer. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to get out of isolation mode so we can actually see the layer and the shape, select both of them and isolate them. As you can see now, this is what happens when you're making a layer. In the beginning, this is exactly what we want to see. It's the overlapping. Perfectly, we have some overlapping. That's alright. Uh, now, how we fix this overlapping? This is a very easy trick. That actually, I was impressed when I was trying to make my layers, and <laughs> I was actually kind of impressed when I found out this actually worked very easy for this uh, kind of thing. That um, in my first experience, or uh, working for Yamview, we're gonna go in the mini dress layer on selected, and we're gonna go on the modifier tab, the modifier tab, and we're gonna actually look for this shell modifier. If you already watch any tutorials, or if you're not new to 3D Max, you already know what shell does, right? It's a pretty common tech modifier that we use a lot. And as you can see, it had this thickness to our layer. As you can see now, it's not overlapping. But now, how do we, you know, we want the layer not um, a thick mesh. How do we fix this? very even even more simple than applying <laughs> the shell itself now that make sure you, you, you're not too much close and not too much far away I'm gonna I, I'm happy with okay let's say probably I'm gonna do I'm gonna go 8 0 0.8 there we have to be careful with these areas over here very careful with these areas we don't want them to be too far away and not too close these areas so the skinning actually works the same, but we can actually modify the skinning after. I will show you all the all the all, all the steps. So now we're gonna go here, down here in the shell modifier. We have an option right down here uh, that we can select edges and select inner faces. What this means? Those two options that we actually gonna select now. As you notice gonna press here F2 F3 sorry um, as you notice here is edges when we select edges it selects you know this thickness we had and when we select inner faces it selects the all the inside of the mesh itself you know the outside stays but the inside that we actually want to get rid of gets selected and how we delete this now with this selected we just keep you know with the modifier on we had another modifier, in this case we had an edit poly modifier. We go on faces, polygons, and there we go. Now we have the inside and the thickness selected and we simply press delete. And now we have our layer, perfectly fine, not glitching, and exactly the same way we left it. And now what we want to do after this is we actually want to collapse. But before that, let me just show you show you, not show you, but actually give you more, you know, literature because <laughs> I really like to talk a lot in my tutorials because you have to understand before actually doing it I think that's the point when you're watching a tutorial is to understand what I'm saying and not try to just copy what I'm saying so you don't have questions and so you can do your own stuff after so if you notice that some kind of the mesh is still glitching you come here, and when you zoom too much out, sometimes you look like it's glitchy, but it's not. It's just 3D Max trick, tricky, being tricky to us. But in case if you think, no, I think I need more, 
you just can go before you collapse, delete the edit poly, go to shell again with those tools still selected and we can actually raise this no, no, this time I'm going to put 1 for example and I go back to edit poly to the polygon, just faces and there you have it again and delete again and we have our layer again perfectly aligned to our body shape down here now after we do this step the last step is where I'm going to be talking very slowly now about unwrapping I will show you all the details slowly trying to make you don't understanding everything I'm going to do there it's nothing so complex as you think but let's let's just get, let's just do that first collapsing let's just collapse this first and remember if I remember this was the body shape I'm just pressing M was the material in this case uh, 12 11 in the M view so we want this one is going to be the 13 this one is going to be the 13 layer there you have it and now let's just isolate our mini dress layer right over here and let's apply our enemy <laughs> call unwrapping and for some... oh there you go as you can see here the MVU already gives us pretty good options pretty good... this pretty good map that they did let's just select the neck and just take it out of the way for now we, we're not gonna fix the neck for now as you can see here because we stay this kind of straight line over here we actually have this very beautiful line going on over here as well as we still have our cut down here for the wrap now again if you don't know what seams is I will show I will say it again one more time what seam is is basically a cut on a 3d object that will then unfold in this case as you can see here open in a 2d option right now this selection over here is actually this selection over here which means I it cuts the mesh, a 3D mesh, and put it in a 2D and a TD texture plane, in this case a template texture. So it's more easy for a 2D, T, 2D, oh my god, 2D <laughs> artist to texture on it. So as you can see here, when you look at this, what is the seams that we actually want to take out? We don't want to take out the arms because that will be completely a mess in here because as you can see here this is the cut of the arm if you put the arm right in here that will be kind of kind of messy I don't know putting the arm stick going up here kind of we don't want that we actually want the arms to be always the same we don't actually want to change the arms itself too much now the neck we want to actually remove this kind of seam we have over here and we will this is is a seam that we want to remove down here we want to remove this hip once this V shape so we don't have any seams at all in this area not even in here we want to remove all of this seams over here and just have this cut down here and this straight line right up here this is all we want in our body shape it's this straight line and the cut down there the arms seams and the final this one we won't want anything else beside that so as you can see we have extra steams, seams around here so now this is unwrapping you already know this probably if not I will be this will be very slow so a very slow paced tutorial this is unwrap we have some tools here uh, in here down here if you put options right down here we have this little thing that shows up is use custom bitmap size right now we're using 256 for 256 texture size for example the MVU use 256 for 512 if we put them here we get now the default um, default size that the MVU uses but for example for this kind of work I, I really prefer to working with 256 for when it's a MIDI address because we actually make a map that is 5 to this is better map for this kind of layer mini dress layer my opinion and let's go back to our 256 256 and another tools you need to know about here I will slowly show you the tools uh, I'm not 
you have the this viewport option, this constant operating, which means that everything I do in here it's gonna automatically operate here. So if I remove the sim that we will show it before, we will automatically it will automatically recalculate in our viewport and will show us exactly what's happening to the texture when we are changing some um unwrapping around here. Okay, this is just what you need to know for now. We don't need to know the soft selections, anything for now. Oh, beside paint select mode. Paint select mode basically is, you know, for example, you are painting faces. In this case, we have select element on. Pay attention to this option. Make sure it's off for now, this part of the tutorial. And when you have this tool option, the paint select mode, you can actually, you know, click and drag and select the faces you want to in our unwrapping. And as you can see here, he updates immediately, showing us exactly what he's painting. If you would like to prefer painting over here, instead of painting over here, you can actually go to Q. You know, I remember the shortcut to Q. If you keep pressing Q a lot of times, you can see over here, it's changing our model selection. Instead of pressing the shortcut, it's the Q again, we can actually come here, click, and wait. And we have this option over here, the spray mode. And you can actually, you know, spray in here as well if you'd like to. But I found rather easy when you're working with unwrapping to actually use the unwrap itself. So I'm just going to try to make here some room for us to work with, so I can see my mesh and still see the unwrapping. And um, you can actually go on vertex mode as well. It can really save you some time, you know. For example, selecting all those vertex like this fast with this paint select mode you can actually press this plus over here and it will actually increase the size of the tool of the brush itself kind of like photoshop and that's pretty much it for now i will show the rats in a, in a minute okay so now oh of course <laughs> the most important tools <laughs> here we have check patterns this is where you actually put can put a default texture right under here for example, pick the texture, a bitmap texture, and you can actually, for example, the texture we were using. Um, get around here. I'm gonna shape the tutorial. There you have it. We can actually apply the bitmap here. Now, why this is actually tiling like that many is because we have tiles over here. What tiles does is, you know, we actually copies the bitmap and he spreads it out, and you can actually raise that. For example, if you are making a kind of furniture, and on that furniture we want to have a piece that actually has more segments, more cuts in the mesh, we can actually grab, for example, let's say this part over here, and we can actually do this by tiling, and all of this is going to show this part in our work will, you know, put the mesh and not around there. So you see, you see, you see, <laughs> sorry, you see exactly where these faces are actually tiling up. Let's say Control Z again. We actually just say we don't want any tiling at all. Um, as you can see here, I teach you how to put a map over here, like a reference kind of map for your work. In this case, we're not going to use. We have the check pattern. We can turn it on as well. And what you need to know about check pattern? Well, for MView, you don't actually need to care about much because, as you can see, even the default one is already kind of messy it up. But when you're working for other kind of projects, or y the 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 squares need actually to fit, as you can see over here, this is a pro this is what a seam does, and this is a problem we having a seam. Have the problem of having a seam in our work, as you can see here, the square, actually it's black over here, and here is white, which makes no perfect sense in this kind. For us, you know, in the in the human world, it's kind of why the hell can we just simply just do it, you know? But for the computer, because there is a seam there, you will not understand this until we fix it. It is this seam over here. So the check pattern is kind of a help tool to see to for us to see actually the smoothness. As you can see here it's not very smooth around here. Here the mesh is kind of not smoothing out. Here as well look 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 all the formation we have in here. But for the view I found it way better to not use the check pattern as a reference. I really don't recommend using it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this show map option right over there. So we actually see oops there here. So we don't see anything in here. 
so we our work here it's so we can see those green lines very well and those white dots pretty good now if you're having troubles seeing the colors of the seams over here you can simply go over here on the mid dress layer colors and you can just select over here and for example let's say this color over here and now we just pan a little bit and as you can see here it updates and now you can see those seams rather better but in this case I really want them to be kind of dark so I'm just gonna add this kind of blue that was before so we see those dots and this green line perfectly fine so now what we want to do is we want to go on our materials we select any default materials we want to go on diffuse a bitmap and I, w I recommend you do something like this a bitmap that actually looks something like this as you can see here uh, it's like you know just a p you, can, you can you can even do this on on paint <laughs> you just you know make a straight line going up and down I w if you want I can I will even put this file there on the project if you want to have this file that I'm using I will put there in, in the website so you can download this you know this bitmap and then when you have this bitmap what you're gonna do is we're gonna apply it to our layer we're gonna make sure this option over here it's selected to show as you can see here, this is a way much better way to work for the MVU to see how things are actually applying around here. As you can see here, we're going to close our material tab. And as you can see over here, our lines, when we put our lines in our shake mark, they were kind of smooth. It's not very smooth because it was very detailed shake marks. But as you can see here, it's looking pretty well already. Now we have some deformation. If <laughs> eventually here, we have a huge deformation here that will be fixed in instance. But overall as you can see the map is not so bad at all now something you get scared is why I see bigger ones I know they are basically I know they are basically the same size why do I see here and then they stretch around here or why they are s bigger here and small on the other side well that that's because you know it's the human nature body that's like that you know this part is actually bigger you know it's a poop so it's normal the same line will stretch a little bit this is nothing to be scared of. It's actually pretty normal to have, you know, uh, like this kind of lines not equal along the way. So, to we start now fixing. I know I'm talking a lot, but you know, I really want you to understand so you can fix your own maps after this without no problem at all. So now we're gonna do the magic around here. Remember what I told you about that we don't want to... This is actually the faces we delete was around here. This is was the faces that we actually deleted. And around here, we delete some faces here as well. So w w when I try to delete, the concept behind deleting the faces here, and not too much faces deleting, is so the minimum of faces we delete to make our work done, the better, because in here, the faces we delete actually show up in here and that can be a problem. Okay, so we start by going in the vertex sub object. We can actually zoom this up now, so we see our full template. Now, if you're not seeing this in this color, means because you don't have this show map option right over here and selected. And um, we're gonna go start by this side, and we're gonna right click. And again, this if this is happening, is because probably you have some under window like a Google Chrome Skype EMV window under it and it kind of glitches which is kind of a very disturbing bug in my opinion and really boring there you go and we press this option target weld actually it was not selected because probably I have some window glitching around over here really fast there you go now uh, target weld and now, when we are in the target wall selection, something you need to understand. As you notice, I select this vertex, and as you can see, this vertex kind of glowed this kind of blue, which means this vertex belongs here. It's basically what he's saying is this vertex is that vertex. So with that say, we can actually say this is pretty easy then. When you put the, the mouse over the vertex you want to, as you can see here, there's W which means W for weld, so when we click and drag on top, notice how it changed to this white cross which means you are on top of the correct vertex then let it go and the automatically will weld it so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do this for all the seam right over here so 
This is why people hate unwrapping, because it's very boring. <laughs> um, when we, we definitely, uh, for me personally, I really hate to unwrap, but you know, when you do something or you do it right or you don't do it, so when you do your work, so it's really important. To As you notice there, the white didn't show up, so I'm pretty sure it didn't weld correctly. No, actually did. So make sure you have the white. Take your time. Don't try to be fast. As you can see here, I'm really working slowly, so you see what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm always pressing and welding to the correct, co co uh, correct, or uh, correct vertex is the one that gets highlighted with this blue. So there you go. Now this area for this particular layer. Again, we're doing a midi dress layer, nothing else. I will probably show you guys how to do different kind of layers slowly. Again, you want to exactly do this, like you know, really get rough there. As you can see here in the middle, we want to make it rough right there. Now this ones, as you can see, they connect with this ones, you know. But before we do this ones, we can actually now fix this one here. Just follow the steps, so we, we don't you know you, you don't have a result different than mine. And we select vertex. Well. You're gonna keep doing this. Sorry, if my Skype keeps popping up with people logging in. I should have closed it, but oh well, have it. There you have it. Now we keep doing this. Again. This is a very <laughs> a very boring process, but with time with we start actually seeing it that is actually rather easy than complicated. There you go. Now this one's we want to have this rough movement. Do it exactly as I do here. And now in this one's we're gonna right click so we get out of tire welding. As you can see over here, we have these tools over here. They're pretty much the same as those tools over here. But they actually work inside, uh, only inside Edit UAV. But the pretty cool option we we have over here, it's okay. So up here, as I was talking, uh, we have this move tool. If we keep pressing it, we have these two options right over here. Now this is pretty helpful in the mapping because this is like straight movement. It's like a a snap that we have our on Max as well. It out of unwrapping mode. So what we, want, what we want to do now, we, we want to select this tool over here, we want to select this vertex and kind of, you know, make a straight line going from here. Grab it and kind of make a straight line. Like this. Now we want to make sure we go back to our uh, double cross uh, movement tool we want to right click, target weld, and we want to weld this to the respective vertex. Remember, the color is what it tells you exactly what you need to know. And there you have it. Now, as you can see here, it's pretty messed up. This is actually not that complex to fix. Since we did a nice cut, we didn't add any geometry, it's actually pretty easy to, to fix now. What we need to do is, first we need to right click, get out of target weld, and we're gonna go here, make sure you have the vertex on, and we're gonna select those vertex along this seam line. As you know now, this is a seam. The green line is a seam, as I teach you before. And now we select those seams all the way up around around here, here as well. And we're not gonna select that one, because that one is already straight from the beginning. This is actually what the changes we did. With all those vertex selected, there is an option right over here. This called align vertically. Now again, when working with align tools in unwrapping, make sure you are really aligning something that can be aligned. In this case, this is a seam line, it can be aligned. Sure, it's alright, it can be aligned. So when you align, if you are aligning something in horizontal, make sure you are using the align horizontal and not the vertical because it will mess up your seam. So when you're playing, for example, you cannot make this part of the mesh, you can actually make this aligned. But for example, in here, you have to make sure that after this point up, this will be uh, vertical and this will be 
horizontally. You need to be careful uh, where you align your things because it will be perfectly aligned so it can destroy a lot your work. In this case, since we want this to be kind of straight over here, so we have a pretty map. Uh, to be honest, there's nothing wrong with working with a map like this. Uh, just the texture, just need to apply the texture like e it was straight, but you know, people are picky and <laughs> we measures have to work our asses off more often than off than normally would have to, but well, I went vertical, we press it. As you can see now, we have this pretty nice line. Now, here is the trick. We want to use this tool on the move there, the move horizontal tool. So now when we pull, it just pulls, very straight line, and we want to kind of roughly match up with this area over here. So we get this straight line right around there, as you can see there. We actually want to do the same in this side. As you can see, this is all blue, because those vertex are going to unwrap, when I mean my wrap is like they're going to wrap, and they connect over here, exactly. This is what exactly unwrap does. From a 3D object, because these points were connected into this point, we actually now have those points actually separated and we can actually make easy detail work over here so we can actually draw and texture and the only problem that this encountered is those seams edges they have to be perfectly aligned to this ones and this is very important for you to remember when you're making a map doesn't matter what map it is for M view or any kind of work if you're using this style this style of mapping you have to make sure that this <coughs> sorry this is perfectly aligned to this one all the time it is very important okay so now we're going to do the same on this side we're going to select be careful when selecting don't select anything outside of the green line only the vertex in the green line again I, i'm going to say the same things over and over again so you don't ask me why i'm having troubles and the problem it probably will be something like th you selecting those two vertex for example and then you have a problem and I think I select this one no I don't think remember selecting this one I think it was just around here let me just correct myself yeah it was just tick around there or there I don't actually remember see no since I don't remember uh, we just control Z everything because I was distracted talking let's see and actually we cannot actually go back to selection so we actually I think it was around probably around over I see the state mistake over here so it was definitely over here so but oh well don't be scared if you forget but just remember uh, how many vertex you actually selected so they kind of match up with the other ones you selected but I'm pretty sure my way of working it was around there um yeah it was definitely this that's why we have this not so straight line over here because this one we didn't select it so now we do the same tool align vertically use the same align move horizontally tool and we can do the same movement up there we kind of try to make it kind of straight up there you know they need to be perfectly aligned to be honest Something. You yes and yes, I'm going to answer the question before you even ask, you can actually select all of those after you do this little trick, first, first, first do exactly what I say, and then you can actually align right there. Now it's perfectly aligned, but only after you do this first, the first thing we did, then we can actually select all of those, and then press it, so we don't have any kind of... Um, defaults or mistakes now in here let's not worry about that for now because first what we're going to do now as you can see here we actually connect the seams and oops sorry did it zoom extend it zoom extend when you lose your work or you want to zoom on all your work or you can have the shortcut key it the, the letter z as you can see here now we have well it's still very rough because we now I'm going to talk about a different kind of tool called relaxing. We didn't relax those edges. As you can see over here, they're kind of stretching. Here, they're kind of stretching and they're doing not, you know, they're not lines like this one, for example. I'm just using this term so you understand. They're not like, you know, perfectly quads. So in here, how do we fix this? How do we fix this deformation we're having? So to fix this deformation, we're going to use a tool called relax. As you can see, the bash is pretty much basically aligned, this, this front part missing 
and we haven't remember we haven't had still the neck yet so before we actually want to relaxing probably want to add the neck but just so we run fast so I show you let's just free from mode this mode over here it's like if you know Photoshop it's like the same tool as Photoshop you can actually zoom rotate and now pull this down you know so make our map a little bit bigger let's say you know as long as it's inside this box it should be perfectly fine don't try to make anything too perfect here just along the lines and there now with face selected with select element on obviously I did this with select element on I select the entire element as you can see now we have the mesh all of it it's one element even in the map which is perfectly wha exactly what we want to now to relax this and keeping this boundary this is called boundary in unwrapping the seam it's called a boundary so we select this and we go to tools and we have this relax option right over here and let's watch now what is gonna do for us what this does is basically e relax like the name says it's gonna relax things up in our map it's gonna make them more smoothness for us so we want to have edge angle on and we want to have the option over here keep boundary points fixed we press this and now we have apply and start relaxing start relaxing we relax until we're happy with the result apply as the name says gonna apply just only once as you can see here and look how smooth things are getting already this is actually pretty easy to fix and still we can actually s apply another one even smoother but what I find rather easy to do is we just start relaxing we'll wait a few seconds for him to unstop and as you can see now our map is really getting pretty good our map is getting very very beautiful lines again this look kinda weird because remember this is not straight so this is uh, exactly the effect we want and still if you're not too happy with the mesh this mesh is kinda have a big hole over there but it's fine not too much big exactly perfectly and if you're not happy remember don't relax too much because if you relax too much it can you know start having bad results instead of good results now why did I say to use edge relax by edge angles and not by in this case we have two more options face angles and centers well if we do face angle let's have a try over here and let's see how bad this will get if we relax by faces yeah as you can see here when he's moving he actually relax way too much and there we go we have a bad result in my opinion there we go probably in here looks <laughs> again good in his face because we did a very perfectly cut and a very nice weld everything will be, <laughs> will be working fine no matter what we do but in the S areas from here as you can see now we start having this kind of curvy wavy because of this faces qua this triangle faces so I'm just control T that's why we want to use I'm not talking about center because by center points it is basically finds center points and to be honest it's very not recommended because as you can see the mesh actually gets kind of weird in the mapping look the boobs for example <laughs> looks like there's no boobs at all even if the map looks actually pretty fine it's just I'm pretty sure if we apply something in the boobs over here they will look kind of messy look at the difference see this actually makes it very very way too much you know straight for our result as you can see now after updating it's actually messing up pretty bad so make sure you use edge angles remember to use keep bonding points fix the interactions can be 100 amount one this doesn't matter because we're gonna be starting relaxing and just wait a few seconds and keep looking at the result now remember this and this is what normally where we're gonna have some troubles show you here as you can see here it's not perfectly but this is not that much probably we relax too much a little bit but this is not that very dangerous glitch kind of thing man this is actually pretty good for a map uh, but to fix those kind of things it's kind of a very boring process <laughs> so uh, we can actually for example come here 
and we know around this and we select in the view in the viewport and they actually select us here actually the two uh, correspondingly vertex and by moving as because and because we have this consent operate option on makes our work really easy remember you can actually use those tools over here as well so we don't lose the sim and you can you know play a little bit with the map this way I'm obviously I'm not gonna fix this because <laughs> this I'm j already teaching you how to uh, but you know just you can come play with those vertex and make them perfectly better remember when you're working here as you notice here I fixed one side but the other one didn't go I'm just gonna control Z so you see this happens because I'm setting only this side of the vertex oops this side over here and I'm not selecting the correspondent vertex on this side it's supposed to be in blue but I could even say oh there we go this one I'm not selecting both of them so when you're changing something in the scene edge make sure or you come in the viewport and you select the vertex that you want to by I'm doing using, using F3 to hide the texture and you select here in the viewport that you actually select both sides of it or you have to come here and manually select for example this one and you have to go on this side and manually select this side to make sure that you have both selected and then doesn't matter where side you are you can actually now apply the changes and look how nice I'm fixing that little curve over there this is how the way is fixed now this works exactly the same for every kind of part of the wrap itself around over here as well I don't know for example this part is over here I don't know where it is we have to find it there we go and when we move it as you can see you can little bit by little bit you fix the map because we already have a very good s solid unwrapping we don't actually need to work that much and f to try your work for example select the mesh uh, in, the, in this case the map and you c by using the move vertical tool we can just you know start moving and because we have constant uplating we can actually see the straight lines going all over the body and we can see how the deformation is going to happen and see if we have some very glitch areas to fix Rem there you go again in here if you want to make the straight for me I think it's for the finest way but if you want to make a straight you select all those seams there I'm not gonna do it now because the video is already getting very long and probably people will get boring and you select uh, the seam of red and you use a line horizontally to fix this over here now let's talk about the neck how to make the neck here seamless this is kind of tricky process now the rotate tool we can actually use the snap angle snap on I'm gonna use angle 10 I'm not gonna teach you how to use angle snap just you know <laughs> you're already supposed to know that um, and now dangle, just know that angle snap works in here so I'm just gonna use this 90 degrees kind of angle and I have the move vertical I'm gonna just move vertically here and as you see here now we have this kind of shape that doesn't correspond too well here but it's fixed there so what I'm gonna try here I wanna see how my map is looking as you can see the map is looking pretty good uh, now this side over here this and this belongs to the neck it's actually this area of the shoulder and the neck itself so how do we fix this we have them all in one piece but we actually want them to be separated to be fitting in those other pieces so I'm just gonna zoom here in the um, now unwrap by the way I'm panning it's the same way as in 3D Max it's pen tool but you have the pen tool over here as well if you want to click and drag um, again to fix this we go on make sure you don't have select element faces on we go on face of object mode it's basically selecting polygons and we're gonna have see here we're gonna see where is the gap for example if I select I, I already know where the gap is because I'm used to it but you know in the map since we smooth this if you don't have smoothed but it's the same two lines coming from here those two pieces right over here they belong here so how we make them go there as you can see when I select this one it already belongs over here so to fix this we actually select here oops not too much make sure you're only selecting those ones you can actually con use control and alt the same as in 3 Max outside of the wrap of course when I say 
to the max I mean outside of the edit UV map and we're gonna right click and then we're gonna use this tool over here called break and we're gonna break it now what happened is look it's actually separated and we have our individual piece so what this means is now we can actually pull it right over there and let it say right there use the horizontal move you know just so they get so I will align them with the other shapes just you know just use the move on one side tool in this case horizontal tool when you're doing this and make sure you have the neck around some position like this before you even break and now we still like to do the same thing on this side as you can see it's correspond to this area as it gets highlighted and now we break if it's letting me <laughs> apparently I'm having the bug again so there you go this bug is really annoying and break and now just go back to your move horizontally tool and just do it something like this for now now we have our big one over here now those those sides are lined around here but remember I don't know why but this this is actually got out of seam for some reason we can just press stitch probably not yet so it means is just control Z probably we break something we're not supposed to break over here we double break is probably exactly what happened exactly what happened so just be careful just break once because I'm having this bug that's why this happens there you go just make sure it's just one break and there there and now this one what we want to do here it's kind of manually work this out so first select all the face like this all the faces and we want to go in vertex with the faces like this kind of tricky select all the faces and change to vertex now we want to turn again I'm having this kind of bug probably because I don't know some and it was kinda actually kind of making this not and still not working perfectly but oh well now it's working again so remember if this happens to you I stopped the recording because you know just doesn't you watch me but you know just if this happens to you just remember it's probably because you have some window under 3d max around this area so now we target all one we're gonna target to all those guys over there again this is a very boring part we could actually select the segments and stitch them but just let's do this process right over here Again, just matching the corresp correspondent or the correct vertex that this the vertex belong to, and there you go. Now we have it. Now in here we want to do the same thing as well. Kind of matching the vertex there. This is the technique I show you here. Probably there's better techniques to do this. Uh, this technique I just think it's nice. Works fine for me. I manually work everything so there you go now this is supposed there you go now what I do is select element as you can see here I'm only selecting this face because of the trick we did and did actually weld and we can actually relax this keep pondering points fixed and look what happened this is not looking good so don't relax like this so now we select the entire element and let's try relaxing this way maybe we can get a better result again I don't liking this curvature that's happening over here but let's just you know try not to destroy too much our map um, we can do some manually work by selecting for example this one that's the one that's actually uh, stretching too much and let's just apply relax over here and they don't want to relax obviously because we have to select this one over here as well this is where the glitch is happening that seems out start relaxing uh, well probably there is some piece 
that is coming out too much. Probably we did the cut not in the right area. Let me have a look. Oh, we have the cut over here. That looks nice to me. Faces again, just small relax. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, okay. Actually, we need to fix a little bit, apparently, here. I forgot. Uh, here, in the map. The seam, it's too short. So, what happens is, uh, there's some mesh going out. As you can see, this vertex belongs there. So, I'm going to select those three vertex. I'm going to go to my there. And I'm going to just pull them around over here. And I'm going to do the same right over here. Again, using the line horizontal tool so we don't have a more precise work. Something like this. Kind of looks very bad now. And relax. Let's see the result now. Edge angles. Now again, looking way much better. Now, if you think this is too big, you can just, you know, fix this a little bit. But remember, this vertex belongs there. So if you want to change this over here, you have to, you know, kind of, kind of tricky to fix this area. But, you know, you can now just pull it a little bit uh, uh, down here. But I find rather better if you just keep everything aligned there. This, well, when someone is going to be working with your work, as you can see, you have some glitch over here. This is because you we have to just fix a little bit mentally. You seem to go about that. Get up there. And there you have it. Let's see how it's looking now in our Chitty Max. Well, it's kind of going this kind of witty effect there. That I'm not very liking it. Uh, let's see how he applies there. Kind of stretchy, but it's looking not that bad actually. Uh, you know, I already teach you how to fix it, but now, to as you can see, now I will be here hours just to fix this small detail. I will be just coming here and you know playing around with going up, going down. Uh, playing with the vertex, even probably aligning some of those vertex, you know, more up, on here, you know, kind of tweaking this until I have the perfect result that I'm looking for. But I'm not going to do everything here, you already have the tools to actually fix this yourself, you just have to believe in yourself right now, <laughs> and just, you know, by what I show you, as you can see, we make a very neat uh, map. Now, uh, the last step is probably running UAV plate. I found to be in a mini dress 512256. Pretty good. I like to feel my stuff, so I'm just going to feel solid. And you can actually change the color. You can actually sew the seam, ed seam edges or not. I, I, I rather use because, you know, the green is always nice to have there. And I found this mapping type to be really nice for. for. Uh, mini dresses. Here, again, you can fix this. It's not straight, but you can make it straight. I'm not going to now be doing that because I already showed you the process. I think, oh, so we're getting out of it. Now that we went to the process of making a layer, fixing the map, and applying it, now the last step will be We've actually forgot to render this, uh, so I have a, a, um, a copy. Uh, five six two five six images is solid. Okay, save. And we're gonna go here in about our shape tutorial, and we're gonna paint a, a layer right over here. I'm just this very disorganized kind of work. Now the name of the layer. Don't make sure it's not the same as the texture. So I'm gonna call it layer. Name convention is very important. Make sure you have a name for everything differently. Even if it is not needed, just get used to working like that. Now we can actually collapse this. and um, apply our material. We're going to copy paste this color over here so that the texture is more clean. 
we have to fix the name convection again this one is going to be layer or we can call it mini dress and then we have to make those commas in this case it's a 12 always a number under the one in there this this square commas thingy I don't know the name of that to be honest uh, oh and before I forgot we have to apply actually our body shape oh not this one uh, body shape zero and layer and there we go our layer we apply it we have it our layer right over there now the last step will be doing the physic and it's actually pretty easy because we already have the physic down there so the physic will have to be exactly the same as one at the top so we apply the physic again we go attach to node we attach our pebbles node right up there and initialize and now we open the physic I have it on my desktop the one that I have on the website and all links okay it's kinda laggy for some reason and now I'm just gonna select those faces those faces those meshes right over there and now when we scroll this it's actually already working pretty good now if in your work in your case you find some de deformings you can just simply, you know, I already teach you the process of fixing fixing your physic on the other work on the other body tutorial and the thing you want to do we just keep going here and you can fix them by playing with the envelopes itself or by playing with the vertex itself. But I find that when you do mini dress this kind of detail actually works pretty good. As you can see now we have our layer perfectly. Now the last step will be to actually export this. So now we already have the body shape exported because we exported on the other rule so uh, the only thing I'm going to export here is the mini dress layer. Now I put the material I put the right material ID a different material ID than any other because it's a 13. I put the physic I put the material name convention correctly on my material tab it's called the mini dress 12 there you go I within those commas now the last step will be pressing the layer and export. I'm going to export it right in my desktop so we can actually find it and I'm going to call it mini dress layer oops sorry mini dress layer and dot xmf now we have here our female already skeleton but always make sure you have selecting the skeleton master file and next next and Now we wait to export. Oh, my tablet seems to having some problems. Now we're done. We go on our EM view, create. We derive a new product. Say top. And now we had our first our body shape, body shape tutorial, and the uh, body shape to the body shape. There we have it. Can actually already had the texture of it. It's this one over here. Make sure it's skin composite. Apply. Now again, we already know why this is happening. We have to go and config five six seven. If I'm not wrong. There you have it. Now we can actually apply here just outfit so we can actually have some avatar movements and things so we can check our work a little bit better now we go meshes and now here in the name convection we actually want to add something that doesn't involve any of those so to make safe just add and for example let's say 69 or <laughs> no 67 there you go 7 ID and now we add we go to layer uh, we have to put it in on our desktop so me address layer And now we can actually play with the pass and call it here. Wait a second. Now here, make sure you are selecting the 12. Now here, the important name of the name convection is so we don't have the same name. 
as this one. So they have to be different names. Remember this name convection is actually very important. So body shape tutorial layer, I call it layer, so we're gonna have no problems at all. And apply. There you have our layer right on top of it. Now with the layer here, you can actually put a color over here, for example. I find very nice to do that kind of type of effect. Uh, I have some color around here, for example this one. And just put an opacity. Like opacity, I have here opacity. Like this. And it was blending. And you can test your work right over here. As you can see, the skinning has some defaults, but remember, don't try to make it perfect. In here, because it's a bit dressed very tight, probably because I didn't pull the mesh out too much. It's th probably not uh, even a, a, a physics problem. It can be just a mesh problem. But as you can see, it's looking pretty good for a layer, uh, a fast layer. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, skin compose on this one. Remember, the name convection is very important. Since we, ha if you add an opacity here, make sure you have a weird name. So when people add an opacity here, it doesn't doesn't have uh, the your name, the same name as yours, so and it doesn't cause some troubles some troubles in your work. So after this, what you have to do is save, upload, and there you have it. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you guys on the next one.